Hello, and welcome to this video introduction to the Olympus E510. We're going to take a quick look at the features available on this 10 megapixel digital SLR camera so that you can get a feel for what it's like to actually take pictures with it. Let's begin by inserting a compact flash card into the camera's memory slot. Now that we've got a card in the camera, we can turn it on. The blinking light on the top of the camera is there to indicate that the dust cleaning system is active. SSWF is the Olympus name for dust cleaning. It stands for Supersonic Wave Filter. I'll start by taking a few shots of our subject, a painted bowl. When I press down on the shutter release button, you'll hear the three-point autofocus engage, and when the camera beeps, it's ready to take a photo. And there's the first shot. Next, I'll take some photos in rapid succession so you can get a sense of the E510's continuous photo speed. The E510 has a variety of shooting modes that are available on the main control dial on the top of the camera. In addition to program mode, which the camera is set to right now, there's also aperture priority, shutter priority, manual, and a variety of scene modes like portrait, landscape, and action. Now we're going to modify some of the camera settings so that you can see how easy this is to do using the LCD screen. By activating the LCD, I can see a variety of common camera settings like ISO, white balance, metering, and image quality. First, I'll change the ISO from 100 to 800. Now I'll change white balance to overcast. I'll change the metering from area to spot, and I'll change from a high quality photo down to a standard quality photo. If there's not enough light on my primary subject, I can use the E510's built-in flash. This flash has a red eye reduction feature, but it's also fairly unique because it can be controlled manually and set to quarter, 16th, and 1 64th power. Now we're going to take a closer look at two of the more notable features on the E510. The first is its live view mode, and the second is built-in image stabilization. The E510 is one of only four digital SLRs that lets you take photos using the LCD. You activate live view by pressing this button. The mirror inside the camera flips up, the viewfinder is now blacked out, and I'm able to compose photos using the LCD. The Live View LCD has several different display modes, and you can switch between them by pressing the Info button. One display mode overlays a variety of lines on the LCD, which can be customized, another shows a Live View histogram, and a third lets you zoom in on your subject to make sure that focus is accurate. In live view mode, the camera won't autofocus when you press the shutter button halfway, but you can activate autofocus by pressing the AEL button. When you take a photo in live view mode, you'll hear the mirror snap down, the camera will autofocus, it will take the picture, and then the mirror will snap back up again. That's live view. Let's take a closer look at image stabilization, called IS for short. There are two different IS modes on the E510. One is for static subjects, and the other is for subjects moving horizontally. Right now, I'll choose the mode for static subjects. When you're taking photos using the viewfinder, you can't see the IS system working, even though it's active. However, you can see it working in live view mode. First, I'll focus on the subject. Then, I'll activate the zoom on the LCD display. This magnifies the camera shake. You can see the image really jumping around. Finally, I'll activate the IS system and you'll see that the image stabilizes and becomes a lot easier to view. Now that we've taken a few photos, let's go review them. The E510 displays photos on the LCD for review much like many other digital SLR cameras, but it also includes three standout features that I'll demonstrate now. The first is that any image displayed on the LCD will automatically rotate depending upon how you're holding the camera.
It's also quite easy to rotate photos on your own with the press of a button. The second interesting display feature is the calendar view. This shows you all the photos on the memory card based on the date they were taken, and it's easy to jump straight to a particular day of the week. The last display feature is the slideshow mode. The E510 comes with a cord that allows you to attach it to many standard television sets. Once you've got it plugged in, you can activate the slideshow mode and the E510 will automatically step through the images on the memory card. Before we wrap up here, let's take a quick look at the lenses that you can get packaged with the E510. The first is a 14 to 42 millimeter wide angle zoom, and this lens works well for a variety of landscape and interior shots. The second lens that you can get with the E510 is a 40 to 150 millimeter lens and it's much better for close-up and portrait photography. Both lenses come with lens hoods, which helps to prevent lens flares on sunny days. And there you have it. Thanks for watching this quick video introduction to the Olympus E510 digital SLR camera.